All right, everybody, Rob Ferretti here, and we have a full house. We've got Chavam's 355 finally came out of the, uh, I don't know, under, out from under the cover for a while. He actually took it for a ride, which is nice. I uh, got my 360 over here. We got the Corvette just finally came back, all fixed and pretty. Uh, no more hood damage. That took quite some time, but we're looking good again. Uh, I got to find out, maybe I'll, I'll auction off, not auction off, but I'll give away the old hood or something like that. I got to go scoop it up in the body shop. Uh, Ferrari, Lambo, but we're going to talk about the Bentley because right now you may notice, Bentley, put some flags on the wall there. Um, you may notice the Bentley is looking a little different. I don't know if you can tell, but I've made it better because this car came back the other day on a flatbed. And I'm like, oh, come on, what happened now? And we just, in the morning, car was here on a flatbed, went out the previous night. And you'll notice the kicks change, the wheels are different. And that is my attempt to fix, or at least accommodate the roads around here. Now this isn't the, the famous roads of Alfred Avenue in Teaneck, New Jersey, which are the worst roads I've ever met in New Jersey. This is the George Washington Bridge. That is a highly trafficked thoroughfare that receives, let's just say, millions of dollars every single day in toll revenue. And there's potholes large enough to do this. Now, this is a perfectly, and now you'll see the back side of this, right? So this here is from driving on a flat tire. That's, the, that's what chews up the tire. But what causes this and let's just flop it down because why not <coughs> not going to damage it anymore you got a bend here and then you got like a bend and a bend there so this is obviously where it debeated and that went from having air to not having air very quickly and then this tire you can see this is the impact from over here it's i don't know this is like a double to, to do that is astonishing to me, right? There should not be a, a pothole essentially in a industrialized country that does that. And definitely not on one of the most heavily trafficked thoroughfares in the United States, which is the George Washington Bridge. And that's retarded. Like that, that's gotta be taken care of. So now this car has one, oh, this is even over here too. Jesus Christmas. One, two, three, four, five bends in this wheel. Now, what in the hell happened? I mean, it's a heavy car, but that's ridiculous. And it also bubbled the rear tire. This was the rear tire, so I put these two on top. And I mean, I've, these are semi-soft rims to begin with, but to have that happen in the space, and I looked at the photos, to have this happen in the space of one trip across the cross Bronx is absolutely absurd. Uh, and then, so now I've wasted now two rims, two tires, and I decided to try to combat this and make the car a little bit better. Now, if you see these are 21s, right? 21s, nice, cool, whoa, 21 boss wheels, man. These are 19s, also factory Bentley wheels. But I am hoping the additional sidewall on the tires will allow it to handle better. And when I say handle better, handle the potholes better, not corner better, not do anything like that. Just not get stuck on the side of the road from driving around in the New York City area. That is absolutely absurd. And this is, it's funny because the car itself, these are factory wheels. It came and I went through the computer. You could set the, the size of the wheels on it. It comes with a 20 or 21 inch option, no 19s. So I gotta go see if maybe the dealer can program that in or see what effect that would have on. I mean, I guess the only effect it would have, if the tire height's the same, it may not have any effect, but uh, I'll check what effect it has on the car. I just don't wanna 
do the like the donk where the odometer is reading incorrectly because you've got different size wheels on it. But this car is going to go anyway. This is this is at the end of its life for me, and we're going to sell this car come uh, I don't know probably next month. So we'll ride this through October, and then bye bye Bentley. We'll get the new GTC or a new GT because it's time and they've been out for long enough. But I mean, I don't know. I, and I don't even know, but now we're giving away a, a Corvette hood. We've got Ferrari bumpers and fenders. Uh, I, I really got to get rid of this pile. It's my winter project, which everything's a winter project. Um, but we are going to do something here. And I've got, if anyone needs, and I think this wheel could definitely be repaired if it's even bent and not just bubbled. If anyone needs three Bentley wheels, and one really busted up Bentley wheel, go ahead and let me know because uh, I'm your guy. I got, I got Bentley wheels for days now. And I think I got other Bentley wheels in the back over there. It sucks. Uh, just one of those things. I've never seen this in my life. And it's, I hope I've come up with the solution. And hopefully the solution is smaller wheels. Because even these cars don't get bent up. The Bentley wheels, for some reason, maybe it's because it's a heavier car or just a softer metal, the Bentley wheels take more of a butt kicking than all the other cars. But this is, I mean, again, I, I, I can't. Like, I, I don't, I'm, at, I'm rarely at a loss for words, but when I saw that thing on the flatbed, I'm like, oh, maybe the airbag went bad, like the, uh, the suspension went bad and it lowered again. No, no, no. It was this. Usually a customer calls me when this stuff happens. This guy just got a tow truck and had it brought in. I would love, I would, the, the best part of this is if I was able to tell you that that was Alfred Avenue in Teaneck, New Jersey. It wasn't, but if you visit Alfred Avenue in Teaneck, New Jersey, I'm sure you'd be equally as impressed with how astonishingly bad the road condition is. If you happen to visit Alfred Avenue in New Jersey or go check out my other videos about Alfred Avenue in New Jersey and feel the need to share with the local Teaneck uh, municipal agencies that the roads are that terrible, maybe they'll come out and fix it. Once they just came out and they threw some dirt in the hole and boom, a couple of weeks later, right back to being the worst road I've ever driven. And if that's the worst road I've ever driven and that doesn't bend the wheels, I don't even wanna know what the pothole looked like that did this. So stay tuned, uh, you'll see what I'm buying, what I'm selling and what else is going on in the rental car world. I am like neck deep in getting the sorted show off the ground. We're gonna be in Palm Beach next week uh, for the 29th and 30th. So we're gonna be filming down there, then we're gonna be out in California. Uh, the winners have already been selected and I am looking for, this is gonna be fun. Like I don't get excited about a lot of stuff. I do get excited about what I'm doing in between the two filmings, in between the East Coast and West Coast, I'm driving tanks. So that's gonna be cool too. But uh, Rob Ferretti, thank you for watching. I will see you next time. And I wonder if the tank could like get a flat tread. Is that possible? Like the, the tread rips off? And driving through these crappy potholes. Who knows? Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. So you guys are familiar with my other company, Adventure Drives, right? Well, we're going to be going to Scotland in October. We're going to be doing Scotch distilleries, playing golf at St. Andrews if you want to do that, walking around, seeing lakes, waterfalls, driving the North Coast. It's going to be an amazing trip. Prices start as low as $2,500 per person for the shorter trip in Scotland. If you're interested in going, check out the link in the description.